It takes a special breed to be a truck driving man and a steady hand to pull that load behind. Okay, we're gonna move the cat up here and Jake's gonna weld that cutting edge back on the side of the blade that we broke off out uh, building the airport runway. So I've been a year ago, It'll be two years this spring. What does that adjustment mean? 20, 30, 40, 50? Your So Jake's got this slobber plate welded back on the blade. He had to use some uh, Lincoln 7018, some eighth inch rod to put it on because uh, we didn't have the wire yet. A new roll of that uh, 21B 045 that he uses in the wire feed welder. Anyway, so we had a hose that leaked in here and made a giant oil mess under this seat so i'm going to pull the rubber mat out and get it steamed off and clean it off up uh, so i've decided that my ac system on this one is probably leaking out the front seal on that a6 compressor so i called a company in walla walla washington uh, called Harold Electric and I have bought two 
Sandin style air compressors with the changeover brackets to go from the A6 to the Sandin. They'll bolt up to my cap brackets. And then they have an extension out the back of the Sandin so I can bolt up my original fittings that go in the A6 like that. So I'm going to change the compressor out and put the Sandin in. I think it'll work better anyway. An A6 is the largest compressor for cubic inches there is. So I'm going to try that and that way we'll just, you know, it's you can get Sandins all day long. That A6 you can still get, but that's, you're not going to get a new one. You're going to get a reman because they haven't built, I don't think they've built those A6s since the 70s. So I don't know, Cat, Cat did use some of the A6s, uh, I think, into the late 80s. So, anyway, I'm going to get this tore out and get it cleaned up. Okay, got it cleaned up best I can. Had to get out the acetone and some Danny Toner special rags. <laughs> Those roll a big pink paper towels he sent me I've still got though I still got a whole nother roll of those Danny thank you for that <clears throat> Danny makes the J Pater wallets too so I got that cleaned up and I got out the steam cleaner and went after the floor mat and the piece of insulation behind the seat they were just covered in oil kind of ripped it a little there but not much you can do <laughs> At least it's clean. I could use it for a pattern to make a new one if I so desired. But I don't think I have enough of that rubber mat left to make another one. I know I have enough of the insulation to make another one there. And then that is the original insulation there. I need to pull that one out and put a new one in there. Because there's a lot of heat that comes off of that right there next to the engine. So. I get that fixed for maximum cooling efficiency. <laughs> okay, they're watering the sugar beets, watering my mailbox. Yahoo. Okay, so I gotta put this on there. Had to clean that off. No man dumped it on the ground and drove over it. Messed it up. Anyway, it is, what is today? I think it's Thursday. Is it Thursday, Mr. Griff? Do you know what day it is? Huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. How's it going, buddy? <laughs> okay, got a whole bunch of stuff going out today. Let's go have a look. Okay, so I got a whole bunch of wallets going out. One to Keith Cohen in Pratt, Texas. Miles Morris in Power, Montana, David Marty, Lincoln, Nebraska, Dave Faunus, Rohnert Park, California, David Honzi, Linwood, Washington, and Dallin Hepworth, Down Arn, Preston. And then I got a shirt going to Plosinski Restoration in Williamsport, PA, and one going to Joe Dykes. And this is going to LA, Joe, because he's in Canada, so it goes to LA first. Then. I got a shirt going to Marion Evans in the UK. That's going to LA first. And a box going to Mark Dockery in Wellington, Kansas. Can't remember what I put in there, Mark. What did I put in there? Oh, an Anderson hat. I think that's what that... Yeah, Anderson hat. So anyway, I had a run on uh, the Jay Pater wallets. So... I gotta call Danny here in a minute and tell him I need like six more. <laughs> Cause I I think I have four or six more people that are waiting for him. So hang tight. Uh you will get one soon. It's all right.